It is important that teachers and fellow pupils understand and accept the special problems of the pupils affected. That does not mean they have to condone and tolerate no matter what. Affected people need clear limits, just like everybody else, and it must be pointed out to them when they exceed these limits, especially when they hurt others in the process. Affected people themselves suffer from their lack of concentration, mood swings and uncontrolled behaviour. Classmates cannot understand these behaviours and in addition the teacher disrupts the restlessness, distractibility and slowness. Thus the already strained classroom situation becomes especially challenging. Understanding the causes of ADHD is a prerequisite for acceptance. Nevertheless, limits must be set and disruptive behaviour must be brought home to those responsible for it. Let us state in advance, there is no button to deactivate those who are affected. Measures at school cannot replace therapy. And there is no patent remedy because as diverse as the framework at individual schools, the teachers, the class and the affected pupils themselves are as individual are the possibilities that must be found in order to make social interaction easier for everybody. Everyone in class should benefit and feel comfortable, teachers as well, who are overburdened enough as it is by oversized classes. A fixed seat in all classrooms at the very front near the teacher, if possible on a bench of their own and not directly at the window, is helpful to affected pupils. It can be of advantage if the teacher introduces agreed upon signs or cards with clear instructions so as not to be obliged to interrupt classroom activities by constant exhortations. And sometimes one or the other abnormality should be overlooked in order to make lessons run smoothly. Small activities such as wiping the board or collecting materials channel the urge to move of ADHD pupils and frequently provide relief. Also movement games for the whole class help to re-establish attention and concentration. What pupils with ADHD need more urgently than all other pupils is positive reinforcement. Sometimes even praising partial success is already sufficient to bolster low self-confidence. Current resolutions, whose implementation is worked on by the whole class in a particular week, can make sense for the entire class, such as do not talk until you are called up. Often the resolutions can be carried through more easily when the pupils themselves are allowed to make suggestions. Booster plans, a kind of reward system for keeping agreements, can be helpful as well as so-called if-then plans for improving behaviour control and self-regulating one's behaviour. Even though children with ADHD often do not make things easy for teachers and fellow pupils, it means a lot to them to be respected members of their class. Ich will auf jeden Fall ich selber sein. Ich möchte aber auch von anderen Menschen respektiert werden. <lacht> Nein, aber ich möchte auch von anderen Menschen respektiert werden. Und ich möchte aber auch dasselbe schaffen. Das ist sozusagen eben dieser große Stolz in mir. Ich will dasselbe schaffen wie andere. Mobbing can be prevented when pupils can learn to understand children with ADHD better and can set them distinct limits with a clear no instead of endless discussions or tussles. During break, the fellow pupils of ADHD-affected children should not leave them to themselves, but integrate them in their games. Good and surprising ideas are part of the repertoire of those affected by ADHD, as well as humour and irresistible charm. They should be given the opportunity to show and develop these strengths also at school. Mir ist es letztlich wichtig, dass die ADHS als eine Verhaltensvariante anerkannt wird und nicht ähm, als das Störungsbild gesehen wird, was im Grunde Kinder von vornherein ausschließt von bestimmten ähm, Aspekten oder Teilhabe an bestimmten Gruppen. Was so gesehen wird, dass man es im Grunde wie eine 
Krankheit behandeln muss und ansonsten ähm, ist es mehr oder weniger unmöglich, dass diese Personen in der Gesellschaft ein normales Leben führen. Und insgesamt auch die Information darüber, dass es einfach von, durch eine genetische Disposition von Anfang an Kinder gibt, die ein besonderes Verhalten zeigen, sich schwerer tun, sich in Gruppen einzufügen, sich in Gruppengemeinschaft ähm, dann auch zu konzentrieren. Und dass man auch die Pädagogik ausrichtet auf solche Kinder und nicht nur diejenigen bedient, die letztlich gut selbstgesteuert im Alltag sich bewegen. Ich finde, die Gesellschaft muss bereit werden für ADHS. Die Gesellschaft braucht Menschen mit ADHS.